yesterday only i have uploaded the video uh, in our e portal you will get it from there okay so today we will start a new chapter understanding laws so once more i am saying saying that there is a question answers the video regarding the question answers of the previous chapter that why do we need a parliament i uh, it is uploaded in our e portal yesterday it is uploaded today come to page number this one page number 42 understanding laws understanding laws you may be familiar with some laws such as those that specify the age of marriage the age at which a person can vote and perhaps even the laws dealing with buying and selling of property acha one thing i have just uh, i have forgotten to ask whether i am audible and visible to you kindly response to message whether i am audible and visible <coughs> okay thank you then i can continue with the class and you have also heard know that uh, the video regarding the question answers it is uploaded in our e portal of the previous chapter that one also you have heard i hope so you may be familiar with some laws such as those that specify the age of marriage the age at which a person can vote and perhaps even the laws dealing with buying and selling of property we now know that the parliament is in charge of making laws underline this one because we have already in our previous chapter we have come to know that parliament is uh, having the responsibility of making laws do these laws apply to everyone how do new laws come into being could there be laws that are unpopular or controversial what is the meaning of the term controversial i hope you know something which is having some sort of disagreement or which requires some sort of discussion that is known as controversial so what should we as citizens do under such circumstances okay do laws apply to all let us read read the following situation and answer the question that follows a government official helps his son go into hiding because his son has been given a 10 year jail sentence by a district court for a crime that he has committed do you think that the government officials actions were right so uh this government this official has he taken a right step because he has helped his son to go for a hiding as his son was sentenced a 10 year jail so has uh, had he done the correct thing never no should his son be exempt from the law just because his father is economically and politically powerful exempt me you know you know i hope free from so what do you think does his son is free from the law because only his father is economically and politically quite powerful not at all no the above is a clear case of violation of law this is actually known as violation of law because you uh, being the government official you are not following the law you are going against it you are helping your son who has promised committed um, uh, often from sorry committed an offense you are helping him to go for hiding that means you are violating the law you are violating rule as you read in unit 1 members of the constituent assembly were agreed there should be no arbitrary exercise of power in independent india now what is the meaning of arbitrary you can write based on a desire or idea or chance rather than reason that means which is based upon some sort of desire my wish my idea it is my opinion rather than reason so you can write down the meaning if you want based on a desire 
or idea or chance even rather than reason so uh, it ha it was already um, um, thought or it was already decided in the constituent assembly and everybody agreed that that there should be no arbitrary exercise of power in a, in independent india rather everything would be based upon reasoning upon logic they therefore instituted several provisions in the constitution that would establish the rule of law the most important of these was that all persons in independent india are equal before the law so it is said or it is written in the constitution that we all we all in, including the president who is the nominal head of the state that means of the country or is at the highest position highest rank in the country from him or her till a person like us that means common people we are all equal before law but still then we can find so many cases every time near around us happening that it's not true the law it is just getting somewhat flexible it is just um, uh, getting uh, stopped forcefully or just paused forcefully because might be the person who has done some sort of crime is having enough money having enough power that's why the law is not at all applicable for that person whereas a person with a common citizen or uh, is not uh, financially well to do the law is quite well applicable for that person even if that a person has done some or some sort of very minor crime might be then also sir the video is very hazy which uh, video which video rajat you want to mean which video kindly uh, mention which video is hazy the current video that means the uh, this uh, the video of this class okay ishita i will uh, repeat the meaning of arbitrary sir this class video but no uh, no beta you kindly check your network some network problem might be there in your place because others they are not complaining even uh, we can uh, check from here also that uh, it's not at all hazy but sir this thing usually happens in society oh, in angshu i i am discussing regarding that thing only that these things are happening because a person who is having power a person who is uh, economically sound at that time or before that person law is not at all able to function properly and it is our fault it is our fault we cannot blame the government it is our fault because many a times we have so we are, you can find that we are just keeping quiet we are not raising our voices we are not protesting against the vices that are going on in the society we are not raising our voice this is our fault and many a times we are thinking oh it's uh, their matter let them understand why i am not uh, why i am going to interfere in it let me uh, be happy let me uh, stay safe why i will be uh, just uh, interrupting there or why i should be just uh, involving myself in that matter okay the meaning of arbitrary once more for uh, not for only ishita for others also those who want to write that uh, based on our desire based d a s e d based on our desire or idea or chance rather than our reason i repeat based on a desire or idea or chance rather than reason okay so let me continue the law cannot discriminate between persons on the basis of their religion caste or gender this thing we are reading might be from the first chapter of this book that law cannot discriminate between persons on the basis of their religion caste or gender what the rule of law means is that all laws apply equally to all citizens of the country and no one can be above the law underline this one this is very important that it is uh, it has been written in the constitution 
that laws apply equally to all citizens of the country and no one can be above the law neither a government official nor a wealthy person nor even the president of the country is above the law any crime or violation of law has a specific punishment as well as a process through which the guilt of the person has to be established but uh, was it always like this no we all know that it is not same in ancient india there were innumerable and often overlapping local laws different communities enjoy different degrees of autonomy in administering this laws autonomy meaning i have written on the board you can find the right of a group of people to govern itself or to organize its own activities actually here the space is quite uh, less that's why i couldn't write the other meanings of the uh, tough term so i have written this one only autonomy the right of a group of people to govern itself or to organize its own activities you can write if you want <coughs> so autonomy in administering these laws among their own in some cases the punishment that two persons receive for the same crime varied depending on their caste background with lower caste being more harshly penalized so just see the same manner same matter that means it is just uh, continuing from which era we cannot just uh, say it appropriately that from which era this man is continuing uh, this uh, system that means the people or the person who is rich who is powerful the law is not applicable for him whereas the person who is not rich who is not powerful the law is applicable in every form in every manner in every unit for him even it can be quite violent it might be or it can be quite violent for the person that's why it is written that with lower caste being more harshly penalized this slowly began to change as the system of law began to further evolve during the colonial period so colonial meaning you already know so just once more let me remember you this meaning of colonial relating to colony uh, re relating to colony the meaning of colony i think you know sir why the laws made for adults not applicable to well, juveniles nishad <laughs> how can it be how can it be just to see the age gap how it is possible now it is uh, just taken that uh, when an adult is uh, committing any sort of crime he or she is just uh, using his or her brain in a very proper manner but whereas a person or a child is doing any sort of wrong deed might be out of out of some emotion or because all of a sudden something had happened or uh, he was uh, quite uh, affected with some situation that's why he had committed that crime it can be or it might be like this okay just let me complete the class just up to saying this part the meaning of colony you can write a country controlled politically by a more powerful country that is often far away a country controlled politically by a more powerful country that is often far away so you can write down the meaning of colony so next part if we find it is often believed that it was the british colonist who introduced the rule of law in india this is another important part or another important decision which has been taken by this uh, british people that uh, they introduced the rule of law in india historians have disputed this claim on several grounds that means they were not at all agree to uh, 
objective, they, they cannot agree with each other regarding this fact on several grounds, two of which include first that colonial law was arbitrary, that means it was based on chance or idea or opinion rather than reason. And uh, another one and the second, that the Indian nationalists played a prominent role in the development of legal sphere in British India. So you underline these two reasons or these two grounds. First one that colonial law was arbitrary and the second that Indian nationalists played a prominent role in the development of legal sphere in British India. That means they had fought a lot to bring some sort of rule in the country during this British period. One example of the arbitrariness that continued to exist as part of British law is the Sedition, Sedition Act of 1817. <coughs> Sorry. The idea of sedition was very broadly understood within this act. Any person protesting or criticizing the British government could be arrested without due trial. Without any trial, the person was arrested. Now let us come and see the meaning of this sedition, this term. It is given in the glossary. It's a long one. This applies to anything that the government might consider as stirring up resistance or rebellion against it. That means uh, it, is, it can be anything which the government thought that it is against the rule, against the government, against the British rule. In such cases, the government does not need absolute evidence in order to arrest persons. Under the Sedition Act of 1870, the British had a very broad interpretation of what constituted sedition. And what this meant was that they could arrest and detain any person they wanted under this act. Any person. It might be uh, any uh, common peasant or peasant or any uh, common craftsman. Any person could be arrested. Okay, the nationalists considered this law arbitrary because persons were arrested for a variety of reasons that was seldom clarified beforehand as well as because those were sorry those arrested were often kept in jail without a trial without a trial the persons they were or the people they were punished so children we have completed up to this part today so you uh, put a tick mark here in our next class or in our next video we will continue with the um, uh, in the next para, that means Indian nationalists began protesting. From this para, we will continue and we will also read another example of British arbitrariness which is given just beside this one. This is Jal Jalianwala, sorry, uh, Jalianwala Bagh Masakar. This one also we will read. So, uh, if you are having any query or doubt, you kindly ask me before my class ends. Sir, kindly let me see this one. Sir, page 36 table is important. Roy Nang Shu, page 36 table. Let me just see once better. 36 table. No, no, not that much. You can go through it, but not that much. Okay. At least in for your level, for your class. Though it is given for class 8 only. But still then, I don't think that it is uh, that much uh, required now. That means it is the results of the, here according to my book, 13th Lok Sabha elections. I don't know in your book, it, it is given of uh, which Lok Sabha elections, whether 13th or after that. Okay, children, uh, are you having any query or doubt? Sir, repeat the meaning of, Raja, uh, so many times I have said. It is something which is based on idea, opinion, or chance, or any desire, rather than reasoning. When you are not giving any scope for reasoning, rather you are thinking that this is my desire, this is my um, um, opinion. So accordingly the rule will be made. I don't want other children to come in the class and sit beside me. This is my desire. So according to this desire, I can make a law. I can make a rule if I'm having the power. It is something like this. 
till then i am saying that based on a desire or idea or chance rather than reason okay children so it's time to say you bye so what is the meaning of trial kinton trial that means when a person is undergoing the process of judgment that means he is asked some questions and answers uh, or the reasons that means he is thoroughly uh, questioned you can also say thoroughly questioned okay any more sir kindly let me see any more okay children so bye